Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you about my design goals for 2017. The start of the new year or the end of the last year is a really good time to kind of sit down, evaluate what went well or not very well in the last year and think about what you really want to achieve in the next year and how you're going to get there and that sort of thing. I have done just that. I have broken my goals down into daily goals, weekly goals, monthly goals and then goals for the year. They're kind of based on the regularity of the things that I want to post and things like that. Okay so I'm gonna start off with my daily goals. There's only a couple of these because obviously it's hard to do something every day. <laughs> One of my main goals for to do daily is just to get up earlier and go to bed earlier. I'm pretty much a night owl or I very much was um, when I was studying but now that I'm not studying I really want to make it a goal to wake up earlier and go to bed earlier so that I get a better night's sleep because apparently and I do kind of <laughs> believe and I have experienced that like the hours before midnight are more beneficial to you than the hours after in terms of sleep and also getting up earlier is just productive and I have heard lots of different people talk about how much they get done in the mornings and how much it can help you like wake up and just be more productive in your general day. That is one goal and I have been doing that gradually like I used to used to be really difficult to get out of bed and get up early and do stuff before work or whatever. It even was hard to get up and get to work on time but I'm gradually getting earlier and earlier and I would like to be getting up at around like 6 o'clock. I think that would be a good time to be waking up so that is the goal and I don't know what time I should be going to sleep but I guess if I'm going to get up at 6 I should be going to sleep at maybe 10 30 because I think that's seven and a half hours which is works on your sleep cycles or whatever I don't know <laughs> but yeah so that's my first daily goal and my second daily goal is just to be posting on social media um, every day pretty much I'm I want to be posting an Instagram on my design page my design Instagram every day and same for design gel which is the design agency that I run so for both my personal design Instagram and the design gel Instagram, I want to be posting every day. So that means that I'm going to be have to be a little bit more organized or just make it more of a priority. I'm only going to be doing it Monday to Friday, um, have the weekends off, but yeah, I'm hoping that I can post Monday to Friday every day and hopefully achieve that. Weekly, one of the biggest goals for this year is just to be consistent in these videos and also my blog posts. I took a break from my blog because like, I didn't really know what to write because last year I was writing a lot about my experience as a design student and sharing stuff to help other students but now I'm not a student anymore, I've finished so I still feel like I have some things to share about that but I don't know if I want that to be what my blog is about anymore because it's not my life anymore so I want to be posting regularly so once a week content that I'm proud to be writing about and passionate yeah I want to be writing a blog post and putting that out every Monday and then filming and editing and producing a video to be out every Wednesday and like along with that I like I've also reevaluated my videos so I'm not vlogging anymore really unless there's like a conference that I go to or an event or something monumentous I want to be producing more design focused videos so that's what's gonna be going down with that along with that I am also challenging myself to produce a piece of design every week that's not work related or like video or blog or whatever related and at the moment what I'm hoping to do is do a typographic poster every week just to kind of explore my love of type even more. I might do some that are full scale murals on a wall or I was thinking about if I do one a week I could do an exhibition where I show the 52 posters that I've done throughout the year so I'm hoping to make a 
poster every week that's typographic and is kind of based around like kind of like motivational inspirational quotes or sayings or words or whatever I'm trying not to be cheesy with them but I just want them to be cool and like for me to be able to have a little bit of fun with them so I'm um, doing that once a week the last weekly thing is that I am also trying to read on average a book per week that might like I might not read one between Monday and Sunday because some books are longer than others and some are gonna take me I don't know way longer to read because they're huge or more complicated or things like that but I want to be reading more and I love reading and now that I'm not filling up all my time with studying um, I can be reading stuff that I really want to read so some of those books might be like novels which is not really design related but a lot of them are gonna be related to design or related to other completely different topics that are gonna help me with my design I bought a few before Christmas that I'm really looking forward to reading so yeah that's a huge goal of mine and I'm really enjoying that so far I'm reading two books at the moment and um, it's a great time so I would definitely recommend it as well because reading is so good for you and I love learning and I just think that reading is a great way to do that so those are all of my weekly goals I only have one monthly goal at the moment monthly at the moment I just want to make sure that I am getting all of the church design stuff that I do done in advance so I get told like what I need to do in advance and it's most of the time done on time but I just really want to be on top of it this year and make sure that it's all getting done on time it's all organized it's all ready to go and it's all done to like a really good creative standard I want to like step up my game for C3 Wellington this year and you just watch this space because we're gonna be producing some amazing design and it's gonna be killer and you guys are all gonna be so impressed <laughs> that's the goal anyway but yes that's my monthly goal is because I design on like a monthly cycle for C3 Wellington so I want to do that monthly but in advance and then yearly these are like my big goals that I'm working towards at the moment the first goal is that I and my business partner Jared we really want to be running design gel full-time so design gel is the design agency that I'm helping to run and we really want to build it up so that we can be running it full-time and also be hiring students regularly and often and that sort of stuff so we are back to work this week and I'm really excited to just like hit the ground running get some more clients do some amazing work get some awesome students on board and also just like do some fun stuff with design gel like there's so many ideas that I have of like projects that we can do for design gel so yeah that's a huge goal we want to be running that full-time as soon as possible so that we can be like providing enough money for us to live on and then also to hire students and stuff like that so that is a huge huge goal and my last goal is one that has come around very quickly and very rapidly but also I've been thinking about for a really long time like I've known for a really long time that I wanted to make like prints because I love type and I love posters and I also love like home decor and stuff like that but I knew for ages that I wanted that I've wanted to do that but I've just been struggling to find my niche in that area and I was struggling with like hand lettering because I don't want to just be another brush lettering artist that does the same thing as everybody else and I just was like oh, I don't know I really want to do this but then I also just I'm worried about not being unique or different enough or whatever and so um, my goal for this year is that I really want to start a small product business that might include prints but specifically at the moment I really want to make stationery so um, another thing that I'm obsessed with <laughs> is stationery and um, if you've seen like any of my videos about organization or things like that I'm also thoroughly obsessed with like using a diary or bullet journals or notebooks or calendars or whatever and so a goal for me this year is that I really want to open a business that sells or makes designs and sells stationery for creatives so like the diaries would be tailored or suited to designers or artists or illustrators or whatever I haven't fully worked this all out yet by the way <laughs> um, like I said it's kind of come around 
quickly and like this idea has like overwhelmed me in the last like few weeks and I've just been thinking about it constantly um, but yeah so I really want to start this business and it might include some of the posters that I've been doing throughout the year um, these like weekly posters I might also sell those or just keep it the stationery I'm not sure yet just ideas flying around all over but I do really want to open this product physical product business by the end of the year I like have no idea kind of where to start or how to <laughs> achieve that goal but it's definitely something that I really want to do so yeah those are my goals for this year they're quite like measurable so I'll be able to know if I've missed a week or missed a day or haven't achieved that this month or whatever so I'm looking forward to keeping on track and getting it done please try and keep me accountable as well and let me know what your goals are I'd love to hear what you're aiming for this year or what you're trying to do and I can also help keep you accountable if you like wish me luck it's gonna be tough but I am all about working hard for what you want and so I'm definitely gonna do that I hope that you have enjoyed this video I hope that you have enjoyed hearing what I'm trying to achieve this year Please give the video a like, a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it, um, subscribe if you haven't already and you can share this video with all of your friends if you wish to motivate them to also have goals. As always, I hope that you are being creative and productive and I'll see you next week with another video. Bye!